The crowd went insane. An eruption for the Cornbread King as he gets makes his introduction. Referee Brandon Hughes brings both men to the center for last minute introductions. Here we go. Sporting touch of hands, and here we go. Both men looking to take control of the center of this ring here. Well, Ecker throws a short uppercut. Is now in a takedown defense. The Cornbread King has a nice single leg here. Let's see if he's going to be able to finish this takedown. It's going to be extremely hard to pick uh, somebody who's six foot five up straight up in the air like that. He's going to have to cut that angle off the back. Beautiful knee exchange. Both men land a knee each. And they break back to center. Still in a nice little feeling out period here. Beautiful leg kick by Cochran, followed by another. Big hands. It looks like Will is trying to have a standing guillotine. Oh, he lets it go. Big knee to the body, Lancer Will Echo. They trade leg kicks. Neither man seems more aggressive than the other. Both just exchange, exchange, exchange. Big head kick followed by a push kick from Will Ecker. Beautiful combination he put together there. You hear Will's corner is extremely vocal and Ray Lopez screaming to his fighter instructions as he marches forward. Looks like Justin's having a little bit of a learning curve on getting over this reach advantage to get inside. He eats two big kicks from Will Eckrell and lands a leg kick of his own. About 30 seconds left to go here in round number one. It's been a very closely contested contest. Neither man is just taking it. Both men have had their moments here in round one. Both big exchanges. Will is definitely starting to pour it on here in the last few seconds of the round. It looks like Justin Cochran might get this takedown. He is peppering the back of Will's legs with those knees. And that is the round. After that highly contested, very close round number one, we are ready to start round number two. Here we go. Will with a big flurry of an attack. Cornbread King with the takedown. Will has those long legs. Is that 155 when you stand six foot five? You have a giant limb advantage. He looks like he is working up the triangle here. Will looks to be. There we go. He's definitely trying to go for that triangle here. Yep. Needs to secure that left, that right arm. And, yep. Justice Cochran definitely knows what he's looking for, trying to be safe here and do as much damage as possible. Oh. He's trying to pass to side, and it looks like. Yes, Will has got him back to guard. When you get an up kick from somebody who's 6'5 on the ground, that's an up kick, boy. Yeah, that hurts. He is. The Cornbread King is pounding Will's body from this standing position in his guard. Oh, he eats another big up kick. It just seems like the Cornbread King is content to stand here and trade shots, though. He doesn't, sit trying to, he doesn't seem to be trying to pass anymore. He's just looking to land those body shots. And he is swept. 
Oh, and he lands back on top. Back on top and full guard. From the sweep to the sweep. Got a minute ten left in round number two. Oh, another up kick. He is landing those. It looks like Justice is game plan here is just to hammer fist the body of Will. I guess he's gonna. He's trying to do as much damage as possible. Those body shots are same in the land. He can't hit. The, he can't reach the face, but he can definitely reach the abdomen. Will went for that double ankle sweep, but as soon as he let, grabbed both ankles, he ate two hammer fists and quickly let go to reassess. Keep working. Use your legs. Use your good body shots there. Use your legs. Yes. yes. Okay. 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 Just those long legs that he's been playing defense with. Continuing to land those hammer fists to the body of Will Eckler. And that is round number two. Here we go, round number three, final round. Full guard. Will looks to be locked, trying to lock in that triangle. He lets it go to not get power bombed. And Justice Cochran is definitely content to stay in this position where he's winning the fight. Oh. And he's back to his feet. The body work continues for Justice Cochran. Oh, Justice with a glancing head kick. Missed by a hair. Oh, yeah. And Justice was a half an inch taller than that man. Wow. Justice lands on top, and we're going to keep pushing through. The pace that these guys have been fighting at is impressive. They've been going full out the whole fight. Will's corner is screaming for him to push him away and get up. Another up kick. Another big up kick. We got about a minute left in this fight. Will is going to have to do something. He's not going to win the fight. Spending two rounds back to back flat on his back. I mean, I think that if, I would be calling for my fighter to be kicking the knees of the opponent standing yeah. directly in front of me like that. There you go. Like he was only, it's almost like he was only targeting the head or the body with those up kicks, and he should have been targeting those legs. Yeah, that's going to create distance. All right, it looks like Cochran's going to go for another takedown attempt here. And he gets he it. it. Looks like there's a guillotine here. He doesn't have... Oh, he's out. He's out. He gets his head out of there. Oh, another big nice. up kick right in the nose. That hurt him. With 10 seconds left, another up kick. Something low. Oh, he hits him with the with the HBK sweet chin music to end the fight. Ladies and gentlemen, at the three-round war, these men gave you everything they had. Now we go to the judges' scorecard to see how they saw the contest. Ladies and gentlemen, after going all three rounds inside the island fights ring, the scores read as follows: 30-27, 29-28, and 30-28.
All in favor of the winner by way of unanimous decision. In the red corner, the cornbread pole! Justin!